Good news, everyone. Then where are we now? Do you have idiots on your planet? You're obviously confused. It's me, Zoidberg, remember? From high school? Hello, you're listening to The Slurmcast, a podcast for no reason. Today we will be discussing Futurama Season 1, Episode 7, My Three Sons, with your host, Tommy Roulette. How's it going? Pete Woodward. That's me. And I'm Rick Horchie. Joining us today is our special guest, Missy Biminio, uh, who I've been friends with for like 10 years and had to ask how to pronounce her last name because I wasn't sure about which uh, syllable to uh, accent. Um, yeah, which made me feel kind of kind of bad. But I mean, I mean if it makes you feel like, any better, it's not and like I, everyone ever shouldn't. calls you by your last name. Where I've like heard it a lot of times, you know. I'm gonna cry about it later. I mean, Just, people think no, your last use name it is on the podcast. fake. People want to hear you cry now. I, just, I mean, like, <laughs> I you, just don't even really care, man. I, I've been asked. All right, well, if you don't for care. years about that, like, who is that Horchy guy? What? What's? That? And like, no, that's his name. I think I might have asked people that. Before when we, I first met you, yeah. I'm like, who, why do you call him Horchie? What's it short for? It sounds yeah. like a nickname. It sounds and like sounds like your buddy that in Sixteen Candles that that likes the girl or something that hangs out and wears a goofy hat. And he's over like, the over he's the like, weekend, oh, Horchie's gonna be there. He's gonna, you know. Yeah, somebody thought it said horny. Oh yeah, on, the, on a wedding uh, not table incorrect. thing. Yeah. Yes. Um, wow. So hey, Missy, remember that time when uh, because of the horns on your head? I mean, when oh. When uh, you, Tom, and I were, were in a fun band? Yes, I remember that vividly. That must have Excellent. been pretty, uh, pretty great for, for you and Tom to be in a, in a band with somebody as Horchie, awesome Horchie, as me. Horchie? Yeah, yes. yeah it's, uh, It was great. Um, I'm, I'm jealous that I, I could never be in a band with myself. You know? I'm jealous I that wish, you're I wish I could experience that. That you're jealous. You just need some jealous. borderline personality disorder, and yeah. you can probably take care of it. Get a disorder. I don't think they call it any of that anymore. I think oh. they have a different name for it. Really? I think I used the wrong word. I meant to say <laughs> multiple personality disorder. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a lot of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. But Get really, I'm, you know. Yeah. There's four of them sitting right here. Oh, exactly. In this chair. Woo! Oh. oh. <laughs> You're can, also the can first. Can we talk to Tina? Who's Tina? What? My mom. Tina? Will Tina come out and talk to us? Oh, he's talking about a different personality. Hey, what's up? I'm okay, Tina. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Here you go. Uh, that was my Tina. Oh. Uh, uh, no, uh. it's... Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, that's, that's I didn't mean to cut you off, Tom. What were you oh, saying? Oh, no. Missy is the first guest to not be a male. Mm -hmm. I'm a lady. I know. A lady So is here. Tina. Is that like an at-home thing? I think I Tina's ever... more man than you'll ever be. <gasps> I, we I want like you to I feel at home. Seen, so Tina. Tina's going to come out. Um, Barnabas is going to come out. All the personalities are going to come out. It's your responsibility to deliver the accepted opinions for all, all of women. All personalities? Yes. Oh, all of the women. You are speaking for every woman everywhere. Because after okay. you, there will be no more female guests ever. Really? <laughs> yeah. Don't play me like that. Your glasses are still You wanted it to be up. you. <laughs> I am me. So you did watch the episode? I did. Twice. Oh, oh really? two times. Mm -hmm. Last so week, and then I felt like I would refresh. Today. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I took some notes. That's ambitious. Cause, well, know. we appreciate that. That's, uh, oh, that's, that's some quality guest uh, service right there. Like I'm, I'm part of this podcast. Hello. That's more effort high five. than I Podcast high it. five. Yeah. Yeah, so this episode. So, yeah, uh, so I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. It was actually a nice episode. I enjoyed I liked, it. I liked I like this episode it's and it yeah. mm -hmm. it again is what this show is about Fry being an idiot and oh yes, I did Very enjoy all of so. it a lot. Very much so. A lot of great Fry lines. I, I, he's my uh, Missy, I don't know if you know this, he's my my uh, favorite character uh, <laughs> on the show. And one of my favorite characters of all time. He's very yeah. But before we even get into the episode the opening scene, which after the first season they stopped doing, where they have like a cold opening before they have the credits, it's so cold. and Bender yeah. is in the the car wash? going through the car wash no, or the bot wash. wash. No, it was yes. a car wash. It I think it was a it was, yeah. no, it was a bot wash. It was, he kept what, saying bot wash. He kept yeah. saying no, yeah. He was, he was, no, was. bot wash mm -hmm. over it, but it said Wait, bot wash on the outside. Automatic robot mm -hmm. wash. Yeah. 
I'm surprised wow. it only cost a quarter. And he, it's usually Bender, a lot more Bender expensive than that. an actual quarter for yeah, something. Usually you have well, to, you don't know that it was an actual quarter. It could have been like a in, lead slug. In, Pete, <laughs> in Pete's case, you have to buy a house and pay for a wedding certificate. And, and some, oh, and, and, sometimes and even all that's the child rearing, uh, oh, uh, yes. okay. expenditures. Very nice. Did it rain afterwards? I had an observation about that particular scene, and this is this is you know. This is the type of observation I would make when he comes out. Oh, here we go! Yeah, Jesus. they put the uh, <laughs> the pine the yeah. the pine he tree air freshener thing. around He's his neck do it right now, mm-hmm. and the robot hands that come down to put it on were like skeletal, and they had five fingers. Whereas like Bender's got like three nubs, and it just got me thinking about robot anatomy throughout the course of the well, show. Well, they're built for their job. Like, yeah, they're robots. Probably, that robot so, probably need five. Some of them are. Does like, it need? Does it need five fingers? Because if you're putting like a loop of thing over something, you could probably get by with one. But what if that's just his part time job, man? I think Who, it Bender was a, or the. the I think the robot the was just yeah. a pair of arms. Other robots that come into the sh- into the series later. Some of them are just like an arm. Some of them are... Uh, uh, exactly. So in this case, it seems that Some of them aren't Android-like. The form does not follow function. It was some sort of lazy, well, we got to have hands. Make it have hands. But it didn't <laughs> need to have all those fingers. It was weird enough that it stuck out to me. Why That's not? the only reason I, I bring does, it up. Uh, why not? That did not stick out to me. Yeah. I wish it would have. You? No, I'm glad it didn't. I'm going to watch it again. You find uh, interesting things about this show. Just, interesting just is, a, is a very interesting word. <laughs> That's, yeah, there was a slurm sighting right at the beginning after the credits. Pete, though. why didn't you notice that? Why don't you bring that up, slurm I did guy? notice that. Oh. I didn't. So that part I missed. Missy, did you notice but that? What it, did I during notice what? The, uh, the, the slurm uh, uh, in there? I didn't. No. I don't we told you just to watch the episode. Just okay. if there was any slurm oh, so yeah. references in this there. This is my I first not, miss. I'm so sorry. So on a truck, like right out front oh. when they're pulling up. I'm going to have before, the Before you go any, any further. Yes? I want to say that um, since last time, last episode we had, I felt so bad that I didn't think of getting anchovies for the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I searched high and low for a spice weasel, but I could not uh, find one. And um, I just uh, mentioned the spice weasel at the wedding on Saturday. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That was maybe my favorite thing in the episode, honestly. I don't just, know what I it is, thought, but I, I want a spice wheel. I just thought it was so funny. But but overall, I thought this was kind of a blah episode. So I think it's interesting that yeah. you guys thought it was like No, that really was, I good. didn't share that opinion. Uh, okay, so this is a two against two that's situation. That's why when you asked, I said, ah, I don't care. No, this episode is, is a good, like, here's, a, here's an example of, a, of an episode of Futurama. You know what I mean? It's got all the stuff that you want to hit. Fry, the main characters, doing what they do. They're on a little adventure. Fry's a dummy. This and that happens. Mm-hmm. There's some weird funny, aliens. yeah, weird aliens, fun sci-fi jokes. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, everybody is in character. You know, mm-hmm. Leela has to save be the smart them. one and save them. And but you know, mm-hmm. uh, but like overall, there's there's a few there's a few good jokes in it. There's a few lines that uh, you know that I've said a million times to friends to like to like Tom and other like big Futurama fans. Uh, that are some of my favorite lines, but at the same time, it's not. There's nothing in the episode that like cracks me up really hard or anything like that. So you're I, wrong. And I oh. think it maybe there yeah. was more starting out because there's the sign uh, it at the Planet Express office with Her- Hermes Conrad, bureaucrat. Yes, and and then the light saying "chewing out in progress" like that. I really liked, and that was that was after that fake. What? Well, oh, who was the fake Emerald Alien? Elzar. 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 Which was a great time stand for when that came out. Uh, remember when, yeah. when Emerald Legacy was like the hugest thing? I don't he, know he why. I've never the food been network. Yeah. I mean, it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> back, all of that yeah. is based on him. Yeah, it's true. Back before. And it's funny if you if you look at the um, the like the cooking stars now, they're all uh, younger and hotter and charismatic and stuff. And like Emerald. Guy Fieri? <laughs> okay, oh, wow. so all right, maybe not. He's that kind guy. of he kind of came out right after Emerald. I think that's when they were still. He was like, he whatever, was from the like right after second season of Who Wants to Be a Food Network star, I believe. I don't think he wow. was. The f- I don't I think know. he was Pete the first. Was go that deep into it. Is oh. that your final dish? Uh, <laughs> I was. Ho- I was hoping um, he shaves his arms and I think his armpits, and it just looks weird. Hmm. <laughs> Who like is this? Who are Guy Fieri. Oh. Oh. My armpits. If you if you see him on television or in internet memes and whatnot, look at his arms. And for a small fire plug looking Italian gentleman, he has surprisingly baby smooth. I thought his arms forearms. would have uh, uh, frosted tips. 
<laughs> I'm surprised he doesn't have like like Maybe. sleevey flame tattoos. Hmm. Uh, one of my uh, other favorite things about that whole back alley area was uh, the guy that was trying to the organ buy, dealer. Yeah, the organ dealer that was trying to buy fries. What, what do you got there, Missy? What did you All write right. down on your notes? Fry almost gets fish gills by a non That was uh, yes. And he, this, that was one of my favorite fry lines when he's it's so fry. He, 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 what? Somebody help me out. What he asked him? Uh, or he's like, um, he's like, I do. Uh, he's like, I do have trouble breathing, breathing when I'm underwater. underwater. What yeah, is the? I do have no, but it was it was better underwater. than that. No? Was that it? Yeah, was that Something it? Like it was, that, yeah. Do you want to guess what I wrote in my notes? Z Ray. Was it Z Ray? No. Uh, this is the point in the notes. Z more fry than is, Fry is so dumb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I put fry is gullible and naive. <laughs> yeah, I, I every episode pretty get much it, I man. I get to a point where I'm just like, he's I mean, he idiot. was on the table. He was ready to get. His, I know. This he is the was ready excitement. to get his his gills, man. We take lungs now. <laughs> Good gills in two Good weeks. Good gills two weeks. <laughs> we went down to to Asia Town um, because it was Father's Day, and I decided that. Uh, I wanted to go have dim sum because we never do that. Mm. And then, Did you then, get the blue slug? The one that comes uh, I, <laughs> Terrible I, nightmares. <laughs> diarrhea. I didn't. <laughs> nightmares, the diarrhea. Purple, that was the purple slug. <laughs> or the purple I slug. I did not is. get that. I did get the, uh, well, I was going to order the beef honeycomb, which is actually beef tripe, but I, you know, I passed this time. But it, it reminded me of going to the supermarkets down there and, and I and I love it. I mean, like I I oh, really right. really love just weird exotic all, stuff. It's not even. I mean, it's not even exotic to me as much as it's just. Oh, I love that, and I love that, and it's it's a, they, they have stuff that you won't find elsewhere. But there was one time when I was at one of the grocery stores down there, and they have a whole cooler full of live frogs. Oh, weird! Because you can eat frogs, mm -hmm. and they're they're a little. You can I eat anything. Frog legs. They're a little I chickeny, okay. but. <laughs> As we were walking through the store, mm -hmm. I looked over and there's a gentleman behind the butcher counter that was holding a frog by its legs over a sink and he just gutted it right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like on the sales floor. I'm like, this is this is a real You thing. had to dissect day. one in high school though, right? I mean that's not that weird. Yeah, but they we never all had to do they that. never gave us uh, scalpels that were sharp enough to actually do it. So it ended up just mutilating the poor beasts <sighs> mm -hmm. that had already been suffered the indignity of like, we're gonna listen. We're gonna pith you, and then we're gonna pickle you in these weird chemicals, and then a bunch of uh, degenerate high school kids. Yeah, that was the worst. That really can't appreciate high school. I did it in the miracle of life. Really? Eighth yeah, grade? Tenth really? Grade. Frog dissection in eighth grade? Yeah. You did it in the tenth. tenth That's when grade. I did it. I didn't mean to inter inter interrupt you, but oh. my who was Jen? Really? Ms. The Jen two we were we were, were partners. And now she uh, opens animals up all the time. Yes, she does. Veterinarian. Oh. But we were partnered up, right? So it was like two people to a frog, right? The partners next to me decided to play tug of war with the frog, and they each grabbed a leg and just I, I ripped got it you apart. Beat. And, and I got stuff you beat. Flew got across you the classroom uh, like a like a dancing. I got video. you beat. Yes. I got you beat. Uh, That's exactly the point I was trying to make. Is that like it was just kids gross. can't appreciate one, it? One of the kids yeah. in my biology class, tenth grade, he ate. Uh, a piece of the frog. He ate like a pancreas or an organ or something. Like that. He what? ate it for which, like a for like a dollar. Uh, and, or maybe you know it was like five bucks. Listen, that's not that bad. You can eat frog parts. The problem it was an is, organ. It, like, it, it, uh, you can eat organ meat. Organ meat is delicious. The problem is that thing's been pickled in formaldehyde. Oh, yeah, that's that's which will yeah, it was the basically formaldehyde. you know yeah. poison you. Yeah. They, all they did was smell like formaldehyde. Yeah, yes. I just I remember that's that, exactly. and I remember some of their inner organs looked like ramen noodles. Now, Leela's lonely. Feelings have Leela. been established on this <laughs> mm -hmm. show so far. So I thought it was funny that as as hard ass as she tries to come off, she does tell the guy under her breath, give me, you know, yes, two bags of, of the course. powdered swamp foot so mm -hmm. she can be. She wants uh, love. Is it powdered swamp root, which auto corrected to powdered swamp uh, foot? <laughs> Makes Sorry. sense. Yeah, but mm -hmm. but it's like make, either makes one. you irresistible. Really? Root isn't available, yeah. available yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, obviously. It's, so. They're going to the Forbidden Zone. <laughs> oh, that was one of my favorite uh, Professor Farnsworth moments. Go ahead and finish that, and then, Tom, I have a uh, Farnsworth question What for were you. the other zone names? Because there was a whole list. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. The Death Zone. <laughs> <laughs> the Zone of No Return. <laughs> Which is, they're all in the Galaxy <laughs> of Terror. Right. right. Yes. All, all the, yeah. They're all meaningless. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, so 
so Farnsworth comes in and he says, not in the cadence that he normally says it, that we're familiar with, but he says, good news, everyone. Is that the first time we hear it? Yep. Okay. First time Episode he says, seven. good right. news, everyone, which I assumed it was earlier, but... Yeah, seven episodes in? Yeah. <laughs> kind of... Yes. And do they get to the planet yet? Oh, uh, no, because Bender yeah, was cooking a Neptunian slug right, on the right. Planet Express. And, it, and he puts, you know, the joke of him putting salt on the slug. And then, in fact, so much salt that it just completely deflated mm -hmm. from its increased size. Mm -hmm. And then made salt water, which was actually salt with a little bit of water in it. Mm -hmm. Did that kind Wonderful. of gross anyone else out? I need all that salt. I mean, I thought about how much I would not enjoy it. Yeah, one time I ate a teaspoon of salt, or, or <laughs> what was it, a tablespoon? A tablespoon of salt, and I threw up. Was it part oh, of I the remember. science experiment? Yeah. It was a dare. School? Yeah, it, it was, was a, a dare. It was a dare. Why? We were doing dares. Tom oh, ate a, uh, a thing of tinfoil or something. Oh, oh, you ate a oh, tinfoil? Oh. <laughs> No, no, no. It wasn't. It was a... I just a, went to the dentist this morning. <laughs> I'm going It was Hershey Kiss yeah, with, with my the foil oh, on it. Oh, yeah. shit. But it's not he, real foil. It it's not Didn't real you warm foil. it up or something? It no, no, no. I oh, proved yeah. that it wasn't real no. foil by putting it in the microwave. It oh, doesn't and it didn't spark. spark. Okay. It's not real foil. It's like paper it's with paper. a little bit of like... I don't care. Right I don't care. Yeah. It was gross. Everyone's feeling yes. that in the back of the I think right I made $5. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you made 5 bucks. I got nothing for throwing up after a tablespoon. No, because everyone was like, don't do it. And you're like, no, I'm going to do it. Oh, yes. We dare you not to do it. And you were like, no, screw that. Like, I pay to eat escargot, which most people would be like, yeah. But we, I no mean, thanks. but Never snails are effectively slugs Never, with really? shells, Ever. right? Never will. You know, so I, I, I would think with enough snake. garlic and butter on I'd it, I'd eat myself slug. with a snail. Then <laughs> now the, the saltiness, that and having just proclaimed my love of savory things as opposed to sweet earlier. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, that, that salt crazy. looked a little bit excessive. And <laughs> never <laughs> Pete's a savory guy. Never in Elzar's. A little bit salty too. <laughs> in Elzar's uh, recipe, I'm a little bit rock and roll. Say. <laughs> To put salt on it, though. No, but they cut away from it. He could have. I don't know. Elzar, I don't think he'd use a lot of salt. He uses a spice weasel. He uh, he knows what he's doing. He does. That's the, he's he's yeah. like the best chef in the like the galaxy. You know? Well, that makes sense. He, uh, he's going to knock it up a notch. That's his uh, catchphrase. And then he also says, bam, which isn't, wasn't that Emerald's yeah. catchphrase? Yeah. Emerald had a lot of exclamations that, totally that you exclamation. know, were part and parcel of his okay, mostly so it was the bam. biggest one. But yeah. didn't he have, yeah, didn't he have like a, bam. Yeah. Wasn't that like on like the the, the thing for the show? Yeah. It would say like "bam" or whatever. What did he say? He like uh, Elzar said, "Knock it up a notch." What did did Emerald say? Take it up a notch or something like that? Or didn't he? He had some. We're gonna take it up probably a notch. Se okay. several variations. Mm -hmm. What I was wondering, and this this plays into a couple of things. Why was Zoidberg with them? When? Oh, question. he just had... He, uh, Amy was also He's there, like too. That. But Amy Amy has gone on missions with them before. They all go on missions. Sometimes they... they sometimes. Sometimes they all go. Usually. Sometimes That it's was just... the first time Zoidberg went. He did have a purpose, though. But if Zoidberg is ostensibly there? a saltwater well, creature... To be the doctor, or...? Huh? Oh, because he... Well, but, yeah. but if Zoidberg okay. is, is ostensibly a saltwater creature, shouldn't he have been... Yes, naturally. That's what I thought like, too. Oh, I thought he was going to be like, oh yeah, I was waiting for that. And because Zoidberg has a big food thing, you know, with just eating everything, I thought, yeah. When they get to the and planet, eating gross food. Why did they park so far away? That's a good. Like, question. was that the I closest that. spot that they could mm -hmm. find? Missy, a park? answer that question right now. Why? I'm going to say that probably it was because they didn't know exactly where they were going. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe they were yeah. confused. I don't know. But I do that. But maybe after, they, maybe MapQuest took them the wrong way. Maybe Google didn't know what was going on. Yeah. After the episode yeah. where I, had that problem. I think mom owns the GPS probably in <laughs> the year 3000. After the episode where Bender goes off on uh, Chopek 9 mm -hmm. by himself and trouble ensues, why would they send Fry out by himself? Why, why on Fry any... Fry is yes. the delivery boy. Yes, but Fry is dumb. He does dumb. not need to be the He is the delivery boy, boy. and Hermes just him. chewed Bender out for not for getting paid for doing nothing, mm -hmm. so Lula, they probably... could have gone with him. Zoidberg could have gone with him. Amy could have gone with him. I well, mean, look what he did. safety in... No exactly, exactly. Why wouldn't you send does. two people as... Just, just because for... Because then someone would have stopped him from drinking the Emperor, which takes us to the planet. And then the, the episode wouldn't exist. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. God. You but guys... he had to drink the damn emperor. I mean, darn emperor. No, no, you can fucking say damn. Fuck 
fucking It's a. like if the McAllisters would have just double checked before <laughs> they left for the airport. The movie then Home Alone would have never have happened. Greatest cinematic if the greatest cinematic adventure. McCall- <laughs> if the McAllisters had exercised the slightest bit of restraint and maybe used some birth Kevin. control at some point, <laughs> they wouldn't have so many kids. And it was like, like let's if you want to go that far into things. How the hell did the McAllisters afford to take like eleven did children? You see their house? You, yeah, that house. house. Do you know how expensive? <laughs> how ex? I mean, it's kids fly. Affluence. That's what kids people fly with money do. free up until two years old. Mm-hmm. After that, it's they a throw full. Off the plane. It's a full <laughs> price ticket for a but kid. I bet his dad was probably like an anesthesiologist for doctors. <laughs> like, then why only would, doctors use him? So then therefore, why he is wouldn't a top, they top charter doctor. a plane with that many people? Like, he he'd pro. I mean, if they had that much money, why wouldn't he just charter a private jet? I, I the whole because premise. That's not, that's, the whole that's really premise that's is not flawed. Just available, and I don't anyone. care yeah, if John Candy shows up giant later on. Families on uh, it's. Do you, yeah, know what, do, you know, do you know plane, what they told the, him when he bought the, the tickets? Do you know what they told him when he bought the plane tickets? would the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> Did, what, didn't like, they bow, notice bow, that bow, one bow. of the tickets was unused? <laughs> Again, entire premise is flawed. That's back when we all used to just jump on planes <laughs> yeah. and go wherever. And yeah, I used to go. Remember, remember, remember I used to go to the airport. Yes. And hang out at the gates in high school because oh, you could just that. do that. Oh yeah, I used to play hide and seek in the airport. Yeah, yeah. Dude. you could just walk in and yeah. yeah. It's actually kind of nice, right? I know people it's watch than I. when people yeah. trusted Sit each other. Sit there in our weird clothes and funny haircuts and watch you know dirty, crabby people come off of airplanes. You play a game and you try to jump they on the wheel like of the plane <laughs> before it goes up into the carry. I'm going thing. to Mexico. They smell then you, like smoke because you can still smoke on airplanes. Where you are. You haven't been able to smoke on an airplane in like 20 years, and they still tell you every time you sit down, who doesn't know that you can't smoke on an airplane? Thanks, Dennis Miller. Uh, I'm anyways, just, no, after I'm, we, I'm, I, I've been we're flying. in the year 3000, not 1993. Can you smoke on the Planet Express? Yeah, the, they've smoked cigars. And stuff. Bender smoked cigars on the Planet Express. Is it really smoke, or is it like a vape cigar? They kind of... I mean, that's another piece of... I think they of, appreciate another uh, piece of tobacco technology. in the future. You know, piece of technology that just doesn't Talk exist. Talk about guys on the orange side <laughs> <laughs> over here, Pete. Uh, all right, look, let's get okay. So, anyways, Fry, Fry gets <laughs> Fry gets sent to the um. Wow, really thirsty, you guys. Fry gets sent because they parked really far away. Right. Yeah, and he had just had no, salt. Yeah. Like he had to walk across the desert. He had all Somebody that salt. Somebody needs to be blamed for that. What do you mean? Blame for him being thirsty? Or Kevin McAllister's I mean, dad. Mad at him for drinking the emperor, but he's I thought that was a little was unfair. Like, if, yeah, he exactly. You know, with his eyeballs. Uh, as true? much as they make Frout to be, Look, really did you see how many signs like, were I around there? Though it didn't say emperor. On they the were all in uh, different languages, and that's what I wanted to ask really? you from before. Is there translations for every one of those signs? Are they, they all different mm-hmm. languages? No, they, I mean yes, but really the only thing is, is that uh, it's don't drink the emperor. <laughs> In different Is languages. That right? Yes. Uh, Which was great uh, when they got the sign later. I think some of them egg. are completely just okay. random characters for stuff, but it's the yes. AL1 alien language that they came up with the first mm-hmm. before people cracked it all and then they made a new one. Oh. oh so okay. uh, did, 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 that, that reference to the, the guy from the Orange Planet Order, I don't, I feel like there's a couple times they've done this. It was about the time they were airing that um, uh, joke when they're watching the, uh, the, the Water Planet. Uh, do you anybody remember the name of the planet? What planet are they on? Trisol. Trisol. Because the three, three sons. Because yeah. mom's three sons. Oh. Uh, when he, so he's doing the joke. He's We're doing all the like exterminators. <laughs> he's doing the uh, the uh, you know people from here walk like this. And people from here. Uh, that was a joke Wah. on The Simpsons. Uh, with the, where there was a black comedian, Wah. And, and he was like, "Oh, you know, white people drive like this, and, and black people drive like this." And Homer laughed, and he like Be- because they, there was, was real comedy comedians doing in real those life kind of jokes at that, that time. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. I but mean, that's just, like the hackiest of premises at no, it this is, point. But that was definitely like one of the. I mean, that was that was a Simpsons joke. I know both of them. Are, that was like an evening at the improv joke and like a deaf comedy I know, jam I know, but I really, I mean, it's 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 a graining show. I really think that was one of. I, I feel like there's two or three incidents where they've made like a uh, a, a direct like reference, like the way Wayne's World Two 
had half of the same jokes from Wayne's World and the show, and every Austin Powers just kept using the same jokes. Nobody on Futurama ever like demands the Rolling Stones be killed, though, do they? (laughs) No, but there's there's a couple of Simpsons. That would have been fantastic. Uh, So we meet all the uh, the Trisol people, and one of them uh, is absolutely um, uh, Maurice uh, Lamarche. How great was that? Lamarche, Lamarche, whatever. I'm Seven a huge episodes. fan. Can't you tell? Which I can't say my name. I can't say my Look, friend Missy's yeah. last name. But many, many, hey. Textbook <laughs> was narcissist. It, was it Gorgak? Was it Bont? Was it Gorgak? Floop? <laughs> I just like that everybody on the planet sounded like Droopy or Mushmouth, pretty much. Oh, yeah. The, then no. all of their voices. No. Was it Merg? I don't know. The, the, the guy that was uh, in charge of everything. The Chancellor? The Chancellor? Yeah, not the guy that well, was. But there was two. There was the... Because they asked them, the, mm. they asked the, the droopy dog guy. Flork is the guy. comedian. Yeah, okay. Gorgak is the guy that they said should be prime minister. Yeah, after, not him. And um, then he said, uh, I got to go with Bender. What, did, what was the line? Anybody remember that? It was, I didn't write it down. I didn't write I think he just said, week. like, you do you or something like that. I mean, it was, it was effectively No, no, he's that. like, oh, uh, uh, we have to pick a prime minister. I recommend such and such. And uh, Bender's like, I could be prime minister. He says something and, and Fry is... Uh, I don't I'm know. Have to choose it, him. Do you remember? Yeah, but it was it was it was that idea, but it, it like it was it, it was funnier than that. Mm. I didn't write it down, and I don't remember what it was. Now you're getting all I mean, terrible. Jump, you're jumping all around on the the bits, but because, I actually because I wrote I, Def Jam pre coronation gala. Yes. How <laughs> far away is that? <laughs> That's great. That's jumping around. It's just it's just jump up, jump up, Missy, and get down. Thank you. Jump, 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 jump. No, we're Podcast basically I there. I mean, he drank, I, he drank I would the request emperor. that you don't jump in this room because you'll feel the floor kind of give underneath mm. you. Uh-oh. The joists That's are a little... Good. I mean, they're solid. This is a 100-year-old house, but the joists are a little flexy. Flexy, flexy. Fry drinks baby. the emperor. He yes. Because it's in that bottle. Mm-hmm. And then... He becomes emperor. He does. Instead of because he's a, when you assassinate the, yes. the emperor, you become. And then they hand him the package mm-hmm. that he was delivering, and it turns out to be a sign in English <laughs> that not. says, oh, oh, the oh, emperor. Oh, that's how I yes. laugh. Oh, oh. He's like, boy, this came just in time. I just want to say that our Home Alone uh, sidetrack mm-hmm. got 31 <laughs> likes on Facebook. <laughs> Already? Actually, At least. Actually, would dovetail into this nicely because of the wet bandits. What about him? Do you say DuckTales? Ooh. This is a show. No, you're reaching. You're reaching. Where <laughs> the people on the planet are made up of water mm-hmm. and yes, therefore are wet. Could you find a way to slip it, that know, in maybe, there without wow. just telling us about it? Maybe it isn't water because they just say it's a blue liquid. So for yeah, all we true. know, I it mean, could be like it does it, 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 it didn't might not dissolve, be H2O. It, and it, it did could. not... Uh, he didn't digest it. It in didn't a go into his bloodstream and, and the rest but, of his body or whatever. Yeah, it just the, you know. the emperor the, yeah, the glowing, himself seemed about? to have some sort of power to maintain his consistency okay. because he could have chosen to exit through a urethra or from the backside in some sort of stream of, of blue diarrhea what a weird or term, tears urethra. or sweat. But he he was like, you know, my, that's my not urethra? dignified. My, I'm not my, going my, to do that. Your, my urethra? My urethra. 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 Everyone's urethra. Everyone. <laughs> she had a beautiful voice. Who? Oh, urethra. Urethra Franklin. Frank. Urethra. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. So. Blue diarrhea. That's. Uh, the sun goes down. The name of my restaurant. They, well, play, before the sun goes they down. They play every Thursday when, night for happy man. hour at John's Blue Shack. <laughs> when they're talking You're in not the. Room with all the pictures of the emperors, mm-hmm. and then Fry's like, "What are they gonna do? Try to drink her? Nobody's gonna try to drink me or whatever." And then the, the straw mouth uh, opens and straws yeah. come. Why was there a <laughs> slurping noise? Like what? What about that made a little bit of liquid and air come up into that? Because it was like person, finishing off of a beer. The person trying to slurp it was probably made of liquid. So it oh, actually, oh, no. I didn't even think. Oh my god! Backside. Unbelievable! Mm. I did not even think of that. Amy's dress in this segment at the gala. Is like remarkably short. Oh, she always wears. No, but but I mean, just functionally, it doesn't look like it's even capable of coverage, especially when she spends. Are you saying it's not anatomically animated correctly? Like that? No, 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 no. I'm saying that there's like a good three minute segment where she's crouched next to Fry, Mm -hmm. and in that dress, I think she just basically 
you know, be bearing all in that mm-hmm. position. <laughs> And and the the angle, I mean, I'm surprised it got past the censors is really what I'm trying to say. Like it is it was that was a little risque for, for it, Fox that, at that, that time period. That the way that she was drawn is like, well, that's basically a full on beaver shot. Mm-hmm. I know it's do a you cartoon. Do you think they intended to do that? Do you think that was I think Or do you think the I animators think between, were just like, hey between the writers and the animators probably. Okay. Kind of like she's a, so a Who Framed herself. Roger Rabbit, kind of like yeah. missing. Yeah. And I'm not, I mean, I don't, I'm she's not trying to like lot. shame her or anything. She's just like, you know, she's just being, uh, you she's know. wild, promiscuous. No, not I'm even that. Well, she kind of is. I mean, she gets off, promiscuous. She gets off yeah. with that like intelligent cloud <laughs> in episode mm-hmm. two. No, uh, whenever. She's with a lot of people in this. Yeah, episode, which is, this which I mean, which is series. fine. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying it to be critical. I'm just saying, like, first of all, they weren't expecting to go to a gala when the Planet Express flew mm-hmm. to yeah, Trisol, right? She was Missy, number what two, do you think about how Pete wants all women to be cloistered? Number two, I like to leave something to the imagination. Number two, I feel you. they get out to Trisol and then get invited to this gala, mm-hmm. but where are they getting all of these fancy clothes? Because everybody on Trisol oh, is effectively good. naked what? except for some weird accessories. I would think Amy what? is somebody that would, like, Overpack to go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, she's she like, wears uh, rich. Exactly. She wears yes. the same I mean, outfit in every single episode because she likes to be comfortable. But when they have a special Amy Wong, episode, the same Wongs from Mars, the Mars Wongs, this the is Mars a very, Wongs. This is a very stereotypical girl thing, isn't over-packing? it? Though, isn't it? I'm yeah. I'm, like, I'm with Missy. Pete, have, like, a few Pete outfits, Tom, depending you on guys. The situation. You never know. What's I'm glad happen. you're here that's, to that's say right. it because if we just said it by ourselves, I mean. Hell to pay. That Jeez. is, that would be typical Guys. of Tennis Amy. Shoes, Jeez, skirt, short, and Missy dress, too. Whatever. Apparently, <laughs> normally when I travel, like if I'm traveling for pre- pleasure or uh, you know non-work related activities, which may or may do, not wait, be wait, wait, pleasurable. Wait. Do you mean that business <laughs> isn't your pleasure? It can oh. be. There's a lot of things. Oh you no, can, is it there's a lot of things you can do with no, an expensive No, pleasure is my business. Then. When I Fuck when I travel for pleasure, I don't even have to leave my bed. Oh. <laughs> but my, my point was, when I can travel by myself, I can actually usually go pretty light. I load up on the underwear and the socks, make sure I got out. shirts, but like I can get by on one pair of jeans for a few days. Definitely, yeah. if it's go- Definitely one pair of if jeans. If it's going to be okay. even you know, 75 and below... I've been getting by on one like, pair you know, of like, jeans like, for the last like, two yeah. years. But, but that's, that's my point, is like... But now that I have to travel for work, I have to bring at least two pairs of shoes. Missy, did you know I guys don't wash bring, their jeans? Dude, I have to bring, Did you know like, that guys don't wash their jeans? I'm sorry, I'm I mean, finished. I assume that That's guys right. Don't wash they them get the women to wash their like, jeans, Horchie, <laughs> and she's a women's. No I one am. is supposed you to guys, wash their Missy jeans. You guys, Missy just walked out. Jeans. What? Wait, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I want you to finish. Uh, that, all, the all I was saying is just that Scenario. when I have to travel for work, I have to bring like two completely yeah. different sets of wardrobes because I have the stuff that I wear during the day, you and just I never can't. Know what's gonna I can't get the tie off mm-hmm. and the suit like quickly enough when I get done. You know, with the work days, just like mm-hmm. get me into yeah. something comfortable, and I can't walk around the hotel in my underwear. I mean, there, <laughs> there was the one time. Oh, that's risky. That's risky business. Great. What you're saying? No, they were let cool me talk about, about it, the one time. The one you, time or cocktail? I don't remember. <laughs> you. Did you say what? Yeah, or cocktail. Co- cock for tail. work. Oh. Yes. You dress like people under the orange sun. Yes. And then when you go out yeah. after that, you dress like people from the red sun. Exactly. Ah. Missy, I, I I have to I, I uh, I've been asking this question a lot lately. Not That's on this right. podcast, but do you, do you know? Did you know that guys don't wash their jeans? Did you know um, that most guys don't wash their jeans? Well, I knew that like most guys only had like one or two pairs of jeans, mm-hmm. and maybe they got washed every once in a while. Once in a while, yeah. Once, when I say don't yeah. wash, I mean once in a while. Every I mean once, once in a while. In a while. I mean, that's kind of like yeah, I knew that. Yeah. Okay. Pete, can you not back us up on that? Everyone's Are you one of the different. washing kind of regularly, washing the jeans? Uh, I I like clean clothes. Mm-hmm. I, no, I won't necessarily. So do I, but I mean, I won't necessarily I wash, wash my else. jeans every I'll, I'll wear week. a shirt to 7-Eleven, come back, and put it in the in the dirty hamper and, and wash it or whatever. I've done but that. yeah, I've also had one pair of favorite jeans that I've worn like three or four times in a row. A lot of people don't wash their jeans because you're not supposed to. Right. It ruins them. It wears them out quicker. That's right. Even... Mm-hmm. The that, gene that's why I don't wash my hands. Illuminati has <laughs> said so. And uh, we are going to get Gene Illuminati as the uh, producer on the show from now on. Oh, my God. Well, he's going to be producing I mean, this I mean, show. Stop saying the Illuminati. 
body look, on here. To be fair, <laughs> they're gonna get us. They will get shut murdered. this podcast down. To be fair, I was better friends with his brother. Charles <laughs> everybody called him Chucky and I think he outgrew that but Chucky. but it was I mean you'd wind up at those parties at a hotel in high school and Gene would always be there he's always a good guy to talk to mm-hmm. Chuck was more of a you know he always had to be the center of attention and and Gene was a lot more confident in himself all right so the, more things happened to the episode I don't know the, the son all the three sons yes hey go down uh, a pretty important thing happens, right? Yeah. yeah. What, what do you there's, have in your notes? What, okay. what is important? So the sun goes down. All of the water people start to glow, and they mm-hmm. realize that Fry still has the emperor alive in his belly. Thank you. That yes. we, then we get to that point. And then they all want to murder alive. Fry to get the emperor out of his belly. To just cut, pretty much cut him open and take the, him the emperor out. Yeah. I just, I just Was realized any? that that would be a fantastic mm. Halloween Planet. costume. What? Just Fry having a light up emperor? blue face on your belly. Oh, you know what? Yeah. That's a that's a, like a super fan costume. That's a, yeah, yeah. It is good a super yeah. fan costume. Was anybody yes. afraid that Fry was actually going to die in this episode, and then uh, that would just be that it. they got canceled? <laughs> oh, sorry, podcast. They only they over. only got picked up for the first nine, and that the last two were just going to be a really really sad Dana Ma. Is were that you afraid you he was going to be Ned Stark? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the like. I'm trying to think of all the ways that like he could legit the emperor could legitimately like be purged from body? Fry's body. Blue diarrhea. He didn't want to sweat out because he didn't want to be sweating himself out of someone's armpits. Because that's very different. They could have just pumped his stomach. They take a beer bong and stuff yeah. it down his throat and up comes the emperor. I mean, you know. I would have gone in the peeing way. I would have just drank a whole bunch of Why other didn't he just pee it out. Uh, Tricillions or whatever they're called. I'm sorry, that, that called? seems way easier. Yeah, Tricillions. I mean, I, I take a medication Maybe to keep my blood pressure in check that mm-hmm. actually makes me pee. Like, they could have just done <laughs> that. Well, he ends up getting beat up pretty intense. And why does... But, yeah, go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, I... <laughs> my, I, I guarantee mine sucks and yours is going to be uh, brilliant and angelic. Go ahead. <laughs> That's a given. Why does this entire nation have this giant juicer? Does this, like, <laughs> that's like, it's like rolling out a tank almost. How many salads are around and how many of them need to be juiced? That's well, a good, uh, yeah. I mean, because. They're not going to use it for the liquid people. because no, they're They could use it. The liquid anything. people well, could well, use it well, because it might be a stimulating. Yeah. It could be a rite of passage. <laughs> Where you get disintegrated in the juicer and spit back. I mean, it could be like an know. amusement park. Like yeah, you're right. Night. It could be a lot of different things. You know, they yeah. they seemingly can can form and unform themselves. They're like mm-hmm. this is like a whole nation of Zan from Super Friends, which is like form yeah. of a water bucket, and he's an I, ice I, bucket with water I was, inside it. All I was of a thinking sudden. Odo from from Star Trek Deep, Deep Space Nine, <gasps> but that's you know, same same. Is it? Mm-hmm. I don't watch Star Trek. Well, I see you later. Said, You're fired. I don't want a Star Trek. Uh, <laughs> Tom, you can record stuff, right? Pete, bye. Genuinely, yeah. Okay, so what happens? What does happen? What, does uh, happen? I, what happens is Pete is not yeah. ever going to be on my uh, Star Trek podcast. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> they beat the crap out of Fry. That's exactly what happens. I feel like they, they try to make Fry cry. Well, oh, bit. which yes. was funny. Bender, whole, Bender calls like Leela because Leela, yes. they get into that whole they fight earlier. Fight. Yes. And uh, Fry doesn't want Leela to ever he help him. He doesn't want her help. He doesn't need her yeah. help. He's yeah, fine. we did skip over but that fe- part. Okay, so I feel like that is basically Pride. the plot for four of the seven episodes we've watched oh, so yeah. far. It's a re- that's why I was saying this is a pretty standard episode. Like, you have them all doing what their characters do. What, what's the lesson at the end of it? Friendship is really important. Yeah, yeah you know, I, this is the first one I, I didn't... Um, every episode, Missy, I I usually... <clears throat> you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good show, it's a funny show, but mm-hmm. there is always that... That sitcom, like, oh, what's the point of this? Like, yeah, like, well, you know, what, what, what's the? I- even if it's really simple and, and cheesy, like, what's the little what are you thing? Take home? And for you know, a lot Tom of them, Hanks just didn't drink the vanilla and the maraschino cherries for no reason. <laughs> There's got to be a lesson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that from Bosom Buddies? I don't understand what we're doing. <laughs> that's that's from Family Ties when Tom Hanks played the alcoholic <gasps> uncle. That's a deep pull. Oh wow, it was. Jeez, you just took me back. Good, good work. Mostly so I always keep vanilla in the. I hope I hope our pantry. listener is at least uh, thirty-five. Bender calls Leela. Mm-hmm. 
And his what does he first, call her? No, his, when he calls for, for help. Yeah. Oh, okay. When Fry is, uh, they're, the Trisillians are trying to get into the yeah, door. Yeah, on the like, video and phone thing. Veneer oh, is starting to peel. <laughs> yeah. But th- he's like, he starts off the conversation with, I don't like you and you don't like me. But Simpsons joke. <laughs> Isn't this your podcast? Are we going to just talk about how Simpsons is just... Okay, so Dead anyways, the, the third season of The Simpsons is probably the beginning of, uh, like, the really good seasons of The Simpsons. And then I really think... No, all right, go ahead. You're walking on thin his ice. first, his first uh, line is, you don't like me, or I don't like you and you don't like me, but then you want ask for help, and Leela responds... I but like I like you. you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then yes. when she wants to know yes. what's going on, he's just like, well, what do you like about me? <laughs> yes. And then, but you don't hear about it. And yeah. then later when, when Bender walks into the group, he's like, uh, Leela's coming to help us. And apparently she likes my in-your-face attitude. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> has great Bender lines. <laughs> which was which Bender probably moment. was in like the character description from the sheet. Like they just went through that. Like, you know, he's... He's a robot, <laughs> or, or or a robot, if you will, with a really in your face attitude. Like, Imagine yeah. Poochie if he was a robot. Yeah, pretty much. Missy, uh, without yeah. telling you mine or any of us sharing, do you have any of of the the Futurama characters? Like it could be just reoccurring ones, the main ones. Uh, do you have any that stand out that you like a lot, or are there any that you don't like? Do I have a favorite? My or, or favorite. Or it doesn't have to just be one. It could be like a couple. It could be one. It could be a I few. I think my favorite's Bender. Bender's your favorite? Yeah. Oh, uh, I uh, think uh, Bender's hilarious. Mm-hmm. I think he's hysterical. Mm-hmm. He's ridiculous. I mean, I love him. I also love Leela. I mean, she's like the save all. You know, okay. Superwoman, whatever. Uh, and Fry's hilarious because he's, you know, ridiculous and goofy and whatever. And. He's and really like dumb. trusting and dumb and like annoyingly trusting and like ridiculous and the, the he thing does we all keep, this. Uh, I kind of love them all. Like, well, we keep coming. So there aren't any to. that you don't like. There I aren't any that you're like, that like. There aren't no. any that you're like. I could do without. Like maybe you don't dislike them, but you're like. You know, kind of the way I feel about yeah. Pete. Like I don't hate him, but like if he wasn't around, I would. Wow, that's pretty cold. Cold cuts. Yeah. Just being honest, Wild. I'm gonna stick your microphone this is a, this outside cold next week. Cold cuts. Honest, uh, just run it through Wild. the window, and you'll have to stand out <laughs> that's and listen. Pretty what did he say? unfortunate. Mm-hmm. I, what? Tommy and Horgy both like to complain about how Bender isn't as funny as everybody thinks he is, and he's he's. No I, like way. I have a I thing like where there's no way he could be their favorite you know? character. Yeah. Because uh, because he's the obvious one. He doesn't right. suck. I, mean, I don't hate him or anything. I don't hate his character. Yeah. But I don't know. All in all, actually, this probably wasn't a great episode. You don't think? <laughs> it actually isn't a great episode, but there's just a lot of like. Just one-liners. Just good in yeah, drama moments. And, you, you know, know introduce some good news, right. everyone. I get that it fits in the canon. Yeah, but I, I'm wondering new new characters introduced. If we're looking at the first season as a whole, I'd say at this point we're seven episodes in, and three of them were kind of. Meh. I mean, they weren't bad, but they weren't like super remarkable. So if we're gonna look at the first, say, thirteen episodes as a season, what's the hit rate from here on out? The next one is one of my favorites. Yeah. Mm. Then after that is, it's okay. You get introduced to another reoccurring character. Episode ten is probably be good. And you don't you need know to what? enumerate them all. I'm just, I'm just curious. Like, you are know we what? Gonna be all, all in all. <laughs> uh, my producer is telling me uh, <laughs> I should wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm thinking, were there lessons to learn? Did we learn a lesson? Yeah, the well, lesson no. is your friend like friendship is important. It's like, right? you know. And to listen to Leela, because she's probably yeah, right. Yeah, because she's probably right. Uh, nine, 99% of the time, <laughs> yes. Leela's she's right. So Which is basically the, how I try to run this household. And just like, mm. just, she's the alpha. She's it, the, wait, you know. Wait, so you're Leela? Are you Leela? I like to think oh. so. <laughs> Who's your wife? Oh. Don't even. Don't. You should probably not go there. <sighs> He's going to get. Oh, I said, no, I, I, do you I think she'll no. listen to this? I, I won't tell it her. It was a bad I, idea. It, is it Hermes? Is she? Is, <laughs> is, is she Hermes? Well, she does have she curly hair. Is she logistical? <laughs> no. Is she, no. <laughs> is she Zoidberg? <laughs> no. That's enough. <laughs>
I mean, <laughs> oh, we we already know what you're gonna say, <gasps> what you think, because you would have said it already. The only acceptable answer mm. is that you're both Leela, so <laughs> you might as well just not. <laughs> <laughs> you are both Leela. Yep, that's the only acceptable yeah. answer. <laughs> Yes. Like, that's good. Like, I like it. We have three too many eyes for that to be the case. Uh, what about your daughter? Who, what what Futurama man. character is your daughter? Probably Amy. Yeah. I love how okay. the episode ends with them I still beating up movie. Fry after he already the cried the emperor out of the West. I forgot. <laughs> I, coming, I forgot. I thought there was going to be more like um, the, the emperor gets out and then. There's like a little epilogue, you know, right? Like where they're show, back home they're, or whatever, yeah, or yeah. like even just like we've decided to let them go or whatever. <laughs> no. But it just ends with a hey. bender where he's no, no, no. Well, before that, with he's he's getting hit with the chair again, and he's like, "Who are you?" And he's like, "I'm the emperor." And he's already out. He's <laughs> Thanks for crying me out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Done? We're done here. Yeah. But then Bender Go just wants to. <laughs> <laughs> wants saved for more. <laughs> he wants. He wants. Oh yeah. He's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everyone gets so tired from beating a fry to <laughs> so make him cry out. Uh, well, uh, that show knows how to end an episode. We don't. Um, Still Missy, figuring that out. Thank you so much for uh, for joining us and being our, our special guest today. Thank you. Um, and is taking it, notes and watching it twice. Nobody oh, done you. that yet. Is there anything you'd like people to follow up on? I know. Uh, aside from being. A first class. Just give your address and your Listen. phone number to everyone. Yeah, nobody <laughs> creepy listens to this at all. Besides from being a first class barista, mm -hmm. that's your rank, right? Mm -hmm. First class. Mm -hmm. yes. um, Thank you. You occasionally sing in musical groups. Yeah. You are a I poet. Have sung with these beautiful humans. You, right you've here. published mm -hmm. uh, works. You, one book or two at this point. One, two is in the works. Hopefully Look at later. that. So where can people get your poetry? Oh, Amazon. Amazon, Amazon what what should they look for? What's the name of your Melissa collection? Melissa Bimenio. Mm -hmm. So there's only one M Melissa Bimenio yes, on Amazon. Me, yes. You don't have to be it's Melissa. Does it have does it have a Yeah. Does it have a name? Book. Like is it just called some words I crapped out on paper it is, or Yeah, it's called um a bunch of words put together um by love. Yeah, I like guess. That's that's really, that's really yeah, what it's that's called. Pretty much. What I like oh, that's that. awesome. No, that's a great yeah. title. Yeah. Cuz that's what it is. Yeah, poetry like and you just opened it's a dictionary all, and yeah. randomly started copying down <laughs> words. Exactly I, what no, it was a dictionary. Goiter. I love yes. this yes. word. Yes. <laughs> Steteria. I love this word. Yes. I do love words. Pus. And I love. I love that. There. I'm getting That's a little medical kind of on a this. Gross word, yeah. It really is. But Pus, I bet it somebody me has of, a. Like, illness. Yeah. It's yeah. uh but you know it's it really of yellow it's a response to your body gooey. fighting yellow off gooey. illness. All right, you're right. I like how you see the positive. Magnanimous, that's one that's, of my favorite when words. When people bring yes. me up, it's always about the way. That's what I we're doing, right? The same words we like. <laughs> um I thought we were going for obscurity. So yeah, check that out. Missy's thing, blah blah what's, blah. What's your uh, Twitter handle? My Twitter handle? Oh God! You're not you're not Twittery, right? Uh, oh, you don't no, do Twitter. You don't I tweet. I do Twitter very that. well, but I think it's Missy Pominio. All right. Yeah, it, Missy Pominio or Melissa Pominio? Yeah. And if it's not, <laughs> it's more important. It's going to be real really interesting like, when people right, start like, following whoever yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah. Savvy. I yeah. do that shit just not. When uh, when our when our listener uh, listens to this and and follows, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think if Dan needed to get a hold of Missy, he could probably just call her or send her a message on Facebook or something. Give me a call. Maybe he forgot. Who forgot? No, who? No, who forgot? No, I, I, I'd I, like to think who that forgot? Dan is the only person listening to this. Yeah, Currently. But I, no. he's, but he's just trying to but find I, it on a radio but station I like right now. <laughs> 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 Almost uh, got it. Uh, you can follow I'm gonna fold this us. I'm going to fold this on an airplane. Yes, this podcast on, uh, on Twitter. At, I am following that shit. I'm going to say, we, we, we're going to switch <laughs> words. At <laughs> Slurm Cast Pod. That's, that's, the, that's, that's the Twitter handle. Let's do it again. <laughs> at Slurm. At Slurm Cast. Yeah, you're Pod. adding that's <laughs> too many ats. At Slurm Cast Pod is our Twitter handle. Uh, SlurmCastPod at gmail.com is how you can email us. We do wait, have wait, wait, a, wait, wait, wait. Do, a do, voicemail so you can call in and, and leave us your mail. feedback. Do uh, it. If it's interesting, we may play it on the air when we figure out how to add that into our actual. Uh, recordings. What's the phone number, Tom? It is area code 216 438 1077. And then you'll call 
and then there'll be a voicemail, and you just leave a voicemail. You can also text it. You can actually do anything. You could <laughs> use a payphone and call. So, like, we could Star send... Star 67. Or a suicide booth. Can we send dick pics to it? You could. It goes right to uh, the SlimCastPod Gmail. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I think we're, we'll on, see. we're on Instagram, Let, let me test it. Hang on. Thing. I don't know. Whatever. Facebook. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at rhorchy, R. H-O-R-C-H-Y. Oh, you R-C-H-Y. Um, ah. Are you horny at... Are you horny? <laughs> Not only, nine, only nine ninety nine a minute. Um, <laughs> here, here's how I want to end this one. Um, I don't think we ever will. No, we will. Uh, there we go. Good night, folks. Good night, folks. <laughs> Uh, uh, d- d- don't forget to neuter and spay your pets. I already stopped the uh, recording. <laughs>